What's going on everybody, C4 here. Welcome back to the finale of the AFC North Ultimate Rebuild Series. In Pirate 3, we took over the Cincinnati Bengals and had a crushing defeat in Super Bowl 67, 40 to 21 against the Seahawks. We simmed that one out because it just, it felt funky from the get-go. And that's disappointing that we were unable to bring it home. 96 overall team with a 99 offense, 99 defense. We got Lane Johnson on the offensive side, Hunter Henry, Mike Evans, Andrew Locke, Todd Gurley. DeAndre Hopkins, Tyler Lockett, it was it was scary. Defensively, that front of, of Justin Houston, Grady Jarrett, Fletcher Cox, Joey Bosa. You throw in outside of that, Trey White, Zach Brown, Darius Leonard, Honey Badger himself, and not being able to bring a Super Bowl is very annoying. Now knowing that we still have one team left, the Pittsburgh Steelers, and we're going to have to go up against this juggernaut that we have built in Cincinnati. So... Let's do it, man. We're still coached by Bill Cowher, who, in my opinion, is one of the best head coaches in the history of the league. We have some exciting playmakers on this team, but it's nowhere near the level that the Bengals were when we left. So we got Lamar Jackson at quarterback. It's going to be interesting to see how well we're going to be able to develop him. Christian McCaffrey at running back. So like, it's good that for this five-year rebuild, we have our quarterback and running back situation all lined up. We have Odell Beckham Jr. and Michael Thomas at wide receiver. Unfortunately, yeah, they're 27. As long as they hold on to the ratings, too, you know, we should be able to get five years out of them. Uh, we got Christian Kirk there as well. Nice little uh, youth option. Not much at tight end. Offensive line is okay. You know, most of these guys, they're serviceable, but their ages aren't great. JPP is a perfect 99, but he's on the wrong side of 30. Uh, William Goals is on the gate. We got Chris Jones and Christian Wilkins at D-Tackle. So there's some good youth there. Uh, ben Gideon at linebacker, along with Bernard Drake McKinney. We get AJ Klein. Uh, Sean Merriman, lights out. 36. It'd be good if he doesn't retire. I'd like to play with him. Uh, Chadoba Wujie, Robert Alford, David Long in the secondary. Chad Jones, not gonna lie, not super familiar with who that is. Miles Killebrew at strong safety. Uh, you know, there's a lot of holes, but we have we have some exciting players. So I'm, I'm not super worried about us being able to turn this one around. So let's get to the offseason and start the five-year ultimate rebuild of the Pittsburgh Steelers. So going into our first free agency period, here's how it's got to line up. First up, Joey Bosa. I want to bring him back. I don't want to leave him. We had him in Cincinnati. He was really, really good. We're going to follow up with Jack Conklin at all on the offensive line, left or right tackle. We don't have any on the depth chart. Uh, Mackenzie Alexander at slot corner. You know, nice compliment. Fills out our depth chart to be our third corner along with Wuxie and Long. Dixon for punter because he's a really good punter. And then Turek here, 80 overall center. No bids. We don't have any center on our roster. So it'll be a nice little solid stopgap for the time being. So we signed all of our free agents except Joey Bosa, which is kind of annoying. But uh, here's how our draft worked out. We got a defensive end at the end of the day. And AJ Apenza from Iowa, really good talent. 77 quick. Stayed in Iowa for the second round. Get a Larrick Jackson on the offensive line. He's a 75 quick. Third round, we got Caleb Kelly, the linebacker from Oklahoma. Fourth round, Henry Ruggs, the third from Alabama, was still on the board. 74 with a star dev. So we absolutely don't need a wide receiver. It was just best player available. Uh, Zach Schalkoford, the center from Texas in the fifth. We got Ezra Cleveland from Boise State in the sixth. And a nice little value pick up here. Javon Kinlaw from South Carolina, 70 overall in the seventh round. So that's a great starting draft here for the Pittsburgh Steelers as we get ready for year one of this ultimate rebuild. Halfway point of year one, and we're garbage. One in seven on the season, our offensive line in the red. That's not... Not good. We're going to have a high draft pick. Uh, we don't need Trevor Lawrence because Lamar Jackson's actually been okay, I think. Uh, but hey, we'll have a high pick. Looking at contracts, staying within house. Christian McCaffrey up first. 94, superstar. Yep. Uh, we have Chris Jones, who's an 87 star. Yep. Thank you. Chidobo Wuzier is our best corner. Not going to let him go. Get him on a three-year 12.5 mil. He wants a little bit more money. We'll bump it up just a bit. Uh, ben Gideon, $4.94 million for a guy that's about an 80 overall. I will do that. And the rest of these guys can go bounce. So we'll come back to the table with a bougie. And other than that, that's a great opening free agency here for the Steelers. Considering our 1-7 record, that we can get these guys to sign on long term. And here at the end of year one, hey, it wasn't much better. Uh, but we, you know, 3-13, it it's year one. It's year one. And should we do better with a team that has 86 quarterback? 95 running back, two really good wide receivers. Yeah, probably. Yeah, probably. But well, look at that. Mine, offensive line, hot garbage. Minus three. I don't think I've ever seen a minus three for Alaric Jackson, our second round pick. Looking at our stats, though. Let's see. Lamar Jackson was not hot. 31st in the passing yards, 30th in touchdowns. At least the turnovers weren't super high. Like, that is the, like, right there, 37, 21, and 10. That's like, you know. 
not enough for me to give up on him. Uh, running the ball, definitely want to see better from McCaffrey. Receiving, Odell had a nice year, 82 catches, almost 1,200 yards, five tutties. Michael Thomas needs to do better for a 95 overall wide receiver. I'll tell you that for free. Uh, Ruggs had a nice rookie season, though. 40 catches, almost 700 yards, five touchdowns at the slot. Defensively, Jermaine Pratt led the team with 120 tackles. Two and a half sacks. We got eight sacks from JPP. Uh, two picks from Chidoba Wuje, who we were able to reach terms with on a long-term deal. Alexander, two picks. Gideon, one. I mean, it just, just was an uninspiring squad. MVP went to Marcus Mariota. We had no one. Look at that. Johnny Manziel, back up behind Andrew Luck, goes to the Panthers in third place in the MVP race. I thought I've seen it all. Uh, offense play of the year in the AFC. Mariota got it. I don't think we're going to see too many Steelers here. Keaton Robinson defensively. <sighs> Henry Ruggs coming at number three for Offensive Rookie of the Year. Defensive Rookie of the Year went to CJ Henderson. Apenza coming in at three. Okay. We, we, we did all right. But ultimately, 3-13 and is not where we want to be. So let's do better this offseason. So for free agency, time to put our money where our mouth is. We're going to spend big David Njoku at tight end. 92 overall, 25. You know, Lamar, you know, Lamar Jackson needs that safety net. At free safety, we got Delano Hill here, 25-84. And then Jake Elliott, big old leg on him, going at kicker. Upgrade over Mason Crosby? Yeah, I think so. Oh, baby. First overall pick in the draft. What a time to get Trevor Lawrence. Okay. Uh, of course... We won't because we have Lamar. And Lamar's good. We don't need a running back whatsoever. McCaffrey, don't need any wide receivers when you have, I mean, perfect time. I'm on or St. Brown, Rondale Moore, Jalen Waddle, Justin Ross. These guys are all superstars. Um, of the course, the first time we have the double overall pick for the 2021 class. And we don't need any of these guys. Don't need a tight end because we got David Njoku. So when you look, what is our biggest need here? Let's let's make the right decision. It could be on the offensive line. That's not a sexy pick. We have Conklin. We're good. We need a left guard. We could use a right guard, I guess. Mm. We, we have no weakness. Linebacker. The best linebacker available, I suppose. That could be it. Whoever the best linebacker is in the class, and I don't think it's a particularly like Dylan Moses off the top of my head, could be our pick. Um... Not much there at guard, not much there at tackle, defensive end. So good players are Micah Parson and KJ Henry and Xavier Thomas. They're all pretty decent, but we don't really need one. Same with D tackle. So when you line back, you got Patrick Queen from LSU, first round grade. Not gonna lie, doesn't look particularly amazing. Inside, you got Ben Davis, second. Like, there's no. Ah, oh my God, man, we don't need any of this. Anoma from Alabama, first round grade. Garbage. Um, God damn, man. I don't know. I honestly don't know who to pick. Like, we, like it would be a waste of getting Trevor Lawrence because we, we don't know if he's going to play or not. Um, hmm. How old are our corners? If our corners are a little bit older, we'll get Patrick Certain. 26, 26. We don't. Ah. Uh. I don't know. This is, this is truly a dilemma to have the number one overall pick and no weaknesses on your team. So, with that being said, I suppose, I suppose, I'm going to get Rondale Moore. At least he has some special team ability. It's just best, best weapon available for our team. We can have that third wide receiver spot open. So, we're going to get Rondale Moore with that 95 speed. 96 acceleration. So after the Rondell Moore pickup in the first round, here's how the rest of the draft went. We get Jamar Jefferson, the running back from Oregon State in the second round. He's a 77 quick. Uh, nice little compliment there. To get a little bit younger, rather than Carlos Hyde, who's kind of an expensive option, we'll go Jamar Jefferson behind Christian McCaffrey. Uh, we got Chasson from LSU. He's a 71. Filet LA from Minnesota, 72. We got Sam Ellinger from Texas to come in to be our backup. Josh Ross, middle linebacker from Michigan, is fast guy on the sixth round, 71. And then we finished up with Meadows in the seventh, just depth play at guard. So as we start for year two, here's how the team changes. Offensive line, nothing really big. Uh, we're just a year older. We brought in Njoku, the big money free agent signing at tight end. He's going to be a 92. At wideout, I'm actually we're gonna push Rondale Moore right away to be that third uh, the third wide receiver. Jamar Jefferson will be McCaffrey's backup. 
not much changes there though defensively pretty much the same thing across the board uh we're gonna go a penza defensive end over golson secondary remains intact safeties we bring in delano hill who's an 84th and a nice little upgrade there other than that we, we keep the veterans and we're gonna hope that we don't start one and seven a little bit better start here for the steelers would go a long way in year two of the five-year rebuild midway point of year two and two five and one ah we have one more win than what we did and the rest of the division is garbage of course the bengal scene that we built is a, just a wrecking house but everyone else sucks so i guess that's kind of good uh, look at the contracts here. Lamar Jackson, he's not... This is like the best spot to be. If we if we believe in Lamar Jackson, being able to get him on his long-term deal at $54 million before he just blows up, that is perfect. That's still going to give us plenty of cap flexibility to make some moves. Uh, beyond that, though, that's it. We're, we're going big here on Lamar Jackson as our only signing. And we're going to get younger across the board elsewhere. End of year number two. Did we do better than three wins? We got four wins. It's a slow process. We're getting there. We're slowly getting there. Just gotta get better O-line play, man. It's always the O-line. We're 99 offense. Let's put it together, team. Look at Lamar Jackson, a little bit better. That's actually some pretty good numbers. Almost 4,000 passing yards, 30 touchdowns, eight picks. I'll take that all day long. The rest of the team needs to pick it up. Good year for McCaffrey. Almost 1,200 yards, eight tutties. On the receiving front, Odell led the team 77 catches, 900 yards, seven touchdowns. Thomas had an okay year. And Joku saw it from the tight end. Uh, the rest of the team just, we got you know, we had to find a way to get Rondell Moore the ball more. Uh, that's ne not nearly good enough. He did develop very well because he had a star dev trait, but uh, yeah. Uh, defensively, Klein led the team, 111 tackles. We got 12 sacks from Bernardo McKinney, 9.5 from JPP, 7 from Apenza. Uh, we got not nearly enough interceptions. Yearly awards, Jared Goff won the MVP. AFC Office Play of the Year went to Jared Goff. Leave it to play the went to Tremaine Edmonds. No love for any of our players. AFC offers really went to Stephen Carr. Of course, the Bengals. They're the best team, and they just get the best rookie. That's phenomenal. Jamar Jefferson coming in at three. Rondell Moore at eight. Even the rookie went to Javon Hall in the safety at Oregon. And Chaison coming in number nine for us. So some all right rookie success, but it wasn't good enough, man. Let's go year three. Come on. Start getting some wins here. So we had our draft recap, our first draft that had fake players, and we had one hell of a draft. We got Ray Dunn at pick four, S ugly position, guard, but had to do it. 80 quick. He was number four in true talent. We picked at number four. We got we to get back to old school Steeler football. Second round, we got BJ Snyder, the linebacker from Indiana State. He's a 75 normal. Third round, he was still there. Projected to go in the first round, Jude Church, quarterback at Alabama. Just need a better depth than I think Sam Ellinger. Comes out 76 quick. I'll take that all damn day. Fourth round, Lynn Doyle, wide receiver from Villanova, 75. We got Perry Shaw going back to Alabama. He was a 73, also came in with a quick dev. Uh, then the rest of the, you know, wasn't, wasn't super hot. But a good draft nonetheless for the Pittsburgh Steelers. Year three, halfway point. We're garbage. Two and five. Ugh. Why? Why? Uh, contracts, Odell, sure. Get back Odell, even though he's starting to regress. Hasn't really had a big year for us. You know, that a 98 should, but that's not that bad of a contract. Mackenzie Alexander's nice corner, one year deal. David Long, what's he want? A two year, three year. He's 86, he's 26. I have no problems paying that. Could get younger for Killebrew. I think Turks, okay at center. That's not ridiculous money if he takes it. If not, oh, you're, you're going. Christian Wilkins, D-tackle, he's been fine for us. Get him down. Gideon's been solid at outside linebacker. That's still a fairly reasonable deal. Jermaine Pratt's our new starter inside. He's an 82 at 26, so we'll get him locked up. And that's about it. Q3 is finished. No playoffs. Ah. But 7-9. We're trending in the right direction. Only two games back of winning the division. We're only going to get better. I mean, you look at our team. We're going to need a new center, a new right guard, everything else staying intact. Defensively, what do we need? We could use probably not much, honestly. Not much. I, I know a potential successor to JVP. Our defense is set. We're close. We're so close I can taste it. Look at the stats for the season. Lamar Jackson. Production dip just a little bit. 23 touchdowns, 8 picks. 1,200 yards, three touchdowns from McCaffrey. No receiver really did great. But the unit itself, that's not bad. Defensively, 119 tackles, three and a half sacks, three picks from Jermaine Pratt, making the most out of his starting opportunity here. That's dope. 
Nine sacks, JPP. Seven from Christian Wilkins. Four picks, Mackenzie Alexander. Three for Pratt. Three for Awuja. Look at that yearly awards. MVP went to Teddy Bridgewater. Uh, AFC offensive player there, Jameis Winston. Defense player there with the Ryan Shazier. Good for him. Jerain Pratt coming in at number three. Offensive rookie of the year. No, nobody. Perry Hay. Cool. We had a couple guys show up there. Dope. Good year four, man. Come on. I feel like we're gonna make. I feel like we're gonna squeak into playoffs year four, and then it's gonna, you know, scripting at its finest set us up for a year five Super Bowl or bust. I feel. It. We're free agency. We're looking to get better at two of our weakest positions. First up, at strong safety, Amani Hooker is a 92 and a scheme fit. Then we have Michael Dieter from Wisconsin. He's an 84-26. Brandon Brooks is pretty old, and I would like to, you know, pretty much cut him and move on from a fat contract. So this draft was not a good draft on paper. I went through to make my short list, and it was garbage. So I straight up let the computer do the job. Maybe the computer would luck in to getting me a couple good players. So here was our short list. Daryl Bro Derail Bo was literally the only guy that looked appealing to me, and he actually turned out to be a beast. He was, I think it was third round projected. Uh, 76 normal, 6'5", 220 with 90 speed. Second round, we got Martwan Subtle. From Maryland, he's a 76 normal. That's actually not a bad pick either. Uh, we got a 73 defensive end, normal dev. Fourth round, 72 tackle, normal dev with a confidence hit already, and then a bunch of 60s to finish it out. I just want to see this real quick. Was there any good players in this draft? Oh, that would have been a great pick. What the man? We scout that guy. He look, look at 83 quarterback, Ryan Otto, 83 star. 98 throw power going in the third round. Well, there was a lot of value here. All right, here we go. Here we go. Halfway year four, starting to get that momentum. Four and three. We're at 94 overall, 97 offense, 95 defense. A game behind the Baltimore Ravens for first in the division. Feel pretty good, man. Even though we had a frustrating week eight loss, 41-35 to the Oakland Raiders. I feel like we're in an all right spot. So looking here, we got Awuja. wants a one-year deal. He's a 92 overall. Make sure we can get him locked up. Michael Thomas, even though he's 30, he's starting to regress. Still really, really good. I like what he brings. We'll come back to the table with him. Jack Conklin's our best offensive lineman. We're not even going to play for the next four years. So that's that. We'll get, we don't care about that. The back end of that deal. Delano Hill, we'll get him locked up. McKinney, starting to get a little bit older, but still produces. We'll, uh, we'll give him another offer. JPP, I feel like we can wait at least until the offseason to see how badly he's going to regress. Same with Mackenzie Alexander. Uh, Penza, one of our better young players. Make sure we can get him locked up. Um, I do kind of want to hang on to rugs if we can. Seems like unnecessary spending, but both Odell and Michael Thomas are getting young, uh, old. If they had a real bad regression, rugs might be able to stand up and and really you know, emerge himself with Rondale Moore. We got a Larry Jackson locked up. Okay, that's not too too shabby. We'll come back to the table. Definitely want to lock up McKinney and Michael Thomas. Other than that, we're good. We're Gucci. It only took four years, but it was worth it. We make it with a very ugly 9-7 record. We squeak into the wildcard playoffs. Team's 95 overall. The offense back up to a 99. Defense is a 95. We won the AFC North. So there's an AFC North title we can have. Lamar Jackson was okay. 3,700 yards, 27 touchdowns, 8 picks. It's okay. It's just okay. Running the ball, McCaffrey was exceptional, though. Look at that. 17, almost 1,800 rushing yards, 16 touchdowns. Did he go over, over 2,000 yards? He did. 2,000 total yards for Christian McCaffrey. Baller, son. Good years from some of our wide receivers. 113 tackles, two and a half sacks, two picks from Pratt. 13 sacks from JPP. We got interceptions are up across the board for our defense, which is good. I like to see that considering everyone's at least like an 85 overall. Uh, McCaffrey coming at number seven for MVP voting. Offensive play of the year with Sam Darnold. McCaffrey coming in at number two. Defensive play of the year with Tremaine Edmonds. Tremaine Pratt at nine. So that's not too bad. Not too bad. But all that really matters is the team success at this point because we're in year four. So let's pick it up as we take on the 10 and six Jags. In the opening round, we get it. This nine and seven squad knocks off the Jags 29 to 10. Lamar Jackson on point, three touchdowns on the day. Run game was on point, and Joku and Lamar Jackson, that tandem is absolute filth. JPP with two sacks, uh, Harrell with an interception. I mean, JPP might need to get himself a new contract. I know he's super old. It goes against everything we do with a rebuild. We only got one more year, and JPP is on fire as this playoff run continues. And the AFC Divisional came up short 38-20 to to the Bills. Bills just started out very, very hot. We never really got our feet 
under us, a momentum shed. What? You got took it out behind the shed like old Yeller. Oh, what a performance. We didn't even play that bad, man. We didn't play that bad. Sacks, we're getting any turnovers, but it ends here, but we got a playoff win. We got a win under our belt as we head into year five, so our team is confident that we can do it again, and all it takes is one more run. Let me get into control. Let me get on the sticks. I'll guide this team to a Super Bowl. So for our final free agency period, we make sure we can bring back JPP, even though we hit open market, not too worried about it, bring back Jake Elliott, and then make our big splurge here because we need to get more turnovers. We're going to look at Florida Gators corner, CJ Henderson, 25-97, and a scheme fit. No bids for whatever reason, so hopefully we'll be able to land him on opening day. Looking at our final draft, again, same thing, set up my draft board. Didn't look good, man. There's like five first-round grade running backs. Other than that, it was just like garbage everywhere, so... Uh, Prelio, linebacker from Memphis, was the best-looking guy. 77 normal. I mean, he's not going to really have much of a chance to play, but it's, it's not a bad pick. We get a 73 safety in the second round, normal. 73 D tackle in the third round, normal. Uh, nice, decent value pick here. Grayson Dealman, fifth round tackle. 72 out of Auburn. Rest of the draft, though. Blech. It's that beautiful year five Super Bowl or bust time. Here is how the squad is looking. Not nearly as overpowered as some of the other teams we've seen, but still really damn good. 94 overall with a 97 offense, 95 defense. Not much has changed on the offense here, uh, but a very good offensive line. Joku is 95. We've seen a lot of regression from some of our star wide receivers. Odell's down to a 91. Michael Thomas, 88. But Rondale Moore is there strong. It was a good pick. Remember we had that number one overall pick? Paying dividends now with Rondale Moore. Lamar's up to a 90s. McCaffrey should hit 99 at some point this season. Defensively, we're at 95. We got JBP, Chris Jones, Wilkins, and Apenza on the defensive line. CJ Henderson, our big money free engine signing, is really going to solidify the secondary uh, to be one of the best in football. Our linebacking core is not amazing, considering the rest of the team is, but still not a bad linebacking core at all with everyone at least a B grade. So let's go, man. I, we got into the playoffs last year. We won the division 9-7. and seven. I think we definitely can crack double-digit victories and hopefully get a first-round bye. Called it, baby. I called I knew it. I knew the direction it was going. 12-4 and four is our team. 99 offense, 97 defense. Lamar Jackson is on point. Finally, everyone gets some good chemistry going on the offense. Defense, at least, doing okay. It's holding its own. Look at the stats here. Lamar Jackson finally having a breakout year. It's almost 4,000 passing yards, 36 touchdowns, 8 picks. Baller. McCaffrey's been incredible. Almost 1,700 yards, 13 touchdowns. Jamar Jefferson has his backup, 511. It's beautiful. Man, dominant. Utterly dominant. Huge year for Rondell Moore. We put Michael Thomas in the slot. He gives us 14 touchdowns on the year. Nicholas. It's a Nicholas. Jermaine Pratt led the team, 118 tackles. We get, didn't get a whole lot of sacks here, but, uh, you know, it is what it is. C.J. Harrison paid him big money in free agency, came in, rewarded us with four picks. Interceptions are up, four for Hill, three for Long, three for Awuja, the best we've had this entire time. Teddy Bridgewater won the MVP. McCaffrey coming in at five. Uh, hey, uh, did we get coach of the year? Oh, we didn't. God damn it. AFC offensive play of the year went to Christian McCaffrey, rightfully so, deserved it. Defensive play of the year went to Tremaine Edmonds, Jermaine Pratt coming in at number four, CJ Henderson at number nine. So that's definitely been a big time for agency signing, bringing in Mr. Henderson as we got a first round buy. So finding out who we're going to be taking on in the AFC divisional round, we're going to be hosting the nine and seven Denver Broncos who have, let's see, what are we dealing with? What do we work with? They got, ooh, okay, they got Aaron Donald, Tremaine Edmonds, Joey Bosa, Byron Murphy, Dante Pettis, Carryon Johnson, Chenna Wosu, Chase Young, John Ross, Mason Cole, Colt Miller. Oh, my God. They got a lot of 90s. Okay. Okay. And Josh Allen slinging that rock. Let's do it, man. Throw it over those mountains. Good luck. Uh, all right. Finally in the red zone. First and goal on the six, trying to equalize. I definitely want to keep an eye on Mr. McCaffrey out the backfield. So it's overpowered. Also, we have 90 trillion speed with Lamar Jackson, and he runs it in even though that was pathetic. He's 96 acceleration, and he was like, that looked like Tom Brady out there. Ah, fix it. Oh, come on. We got Rondell Moore deep. We have Rondell Moore deep, and he makes the reception. Oh, he's amazing out of Purdue. I don't know why or how Purdue landed a prospect of Rondale Moore's quality, but that was sick. Great read. We saw the safety wasn't going to drop back. Picked him apart. I thought for sure Lamar Jackson overthrew that. But that is a huge deep ball. We need more of that. Ties the game up at 14 before half. Oh, shit. Turnover. Denver Broncos with the turnover. Momentum. Big Mo shifting. 
Lamar Jackson throws across the middle to Michael Thomas. Big body, big slot, whatever you want to call it. Nice little touchdown there. We got some chemistry, though. Lamar Jackson, rhythm passer. We got all the rhythm in the world right now. Looks like Michael Jackson back there. Oh, come on, Odell. Come on, Odell. Garbage. All right, there we got the tight end. Oh, beautiful read. Lamar Jackson, his first fourth touchdown. Three passing, one rushing. He's carrying this team right now as we finally regain the lead. 28-21, beginning of the fourth. All right, down three. Got to go 97 yards. Cool, 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 cool. All right. That's how we're going to start it right here. Lamar Jackson, scamper for the old couple. Oh, my God. I hate Odell Beckham Jr. so bad. That's like his fourth drop. Come on, man. We only need like 10 yards. We only need like 10 yards. There we go. And he didn't drop it. Hey, shout out to Odell. I guess we're going for the field goal, maybe. I don't know. We could have spiked that. We'll see what we can do. Maybe hit McCaffrey at the backfield. If we can get to the outside. Or we just go deep to Mr. Njoku. Brings up the 21. I, I kind of want to go for the end zone here. Just because I don't want to deal with that field goal stuff. It's going to have to go for the end zone. 13 seconds ticking down. Odell, Rondale Moore going to be our best shot. Or get sacked and have the game be over because Lamar Jackson. Did you see how slow he was in that pocket? I couldn't do anything. He literally, the stamina in the system is fucking broken. <sighs> how many more days still Madden 20? Well, that does it for the ultimate rebuild of the Steelers. We fucked up and lost. Subscribe.